what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and I have a quick tip for you that's going to improve your sword game by a lot. Now, it's a very, very simple concept, but one that makes a big difference. And this is something that you guys can take a look at in modern film, in uh, television, in stage productions, but you can also look at it on a martial arts side where you watch other people's forms, demonstrations, and you can see the lack of this makes a huge difference as well as actually paying attention to this makes a tremendous impact on your own training. So, let's go get to work. Okay, now this is a really, really simple concept and a very, very small detail that will make a huge difference. Now, this is really important for people who are learning sword spinning so they can do it for film or television or stage or martial artists that just want to bring up their form to another level. Now this can be done with any sword, it doesn't matter. You can use a katana, you can use a stick, you can use a straight sword, you can use a broad sword like this, any sword, it doesn't matter. You could even do it with a lightsaber. It's not about the spin either. This could work for any spin, whether I'm doing the reverse flower, or I'm doing an upward flower, or I'm gonna do the combined flower, any kind of a thing that I'm doing, it doesn't matter what, what the sword is doing, okay? Or your lightsaber, or your stick. <laughs> It all comes down to a small detail. This hand. What are you doing with your other hand? Now, I always refer to this as a guard hand because in the martial arts, you have your striking hand. You have to have to do something with this hand and it's typically guarding, okay? Now, your guard hand has to have energy in it. There's a balance. There's a yin and yang of the martial arts. So, if you have a really strong performance with your swinging and you're spinning your sword, but this hand's just kind of hanging out and not doing much, or it's a hand on the belly, yeah, this keeps it out of the way, but... This hand, it just will not look right if there's no energy in it. So put it up by your shoulder. Make sure there's intention in this hand. Put it right in the center. Put it in a fist at the waist. And you will make everything look ten times better. Even if it's just a spinning motion. As long as you have that down, setting a good guard hand makes a huge difference. A guard hand with no energy will always be noticeable. Okay, now this is really important, like I said, for um, actors or martial artists who want to take up their forms to the next level. For the martial artists, pay attention because this doesn't always happen during flowering motions or spinning motions. It's most commonly because we're thinking about so much about what we're doing with this side that we forget what we're doing with this side. But it will happen between the movements. So yeah, you may be able to spin and then you go into your next part and it dies for a second. And then it opens back up. So pay attention to that little guard hand, that little detail, and you'll have a huge impact on the rest of your form's performance, okay? This is a great way to take your game to the next level, even in a small detail like that. So there you go. It's actually a really simple trick, but it makes a huge impact on your training. Now remember, this is not gonna fix the broadsword flower or the whatever kind of sword spinning that you're doing. If your sword spinning is um, sloppy or if it has too many stalls in it, if it's just not there yet. But if you have a really nice sword spin and you have a uh, really good form but there's something lacking, look at that guard hand. And honestly I suggest checking out uh, videos, any kind of martial arts movies, any kind of martial arts shows, anything where you have a hero that's gonna spin a sword, especially right before they get into battle, they, uh, they do that quick sword spin. Take a look at that guard hand. See who's actually paying attention to that or not. And those little details, like I said, those are very detectable by the, the people that have been doing martial arts for years and know what they're doing. And to those who don't know what to look for, it still doesn't seem quite right. And we, we have a way to pick up on this, even though we can't identify what it is that's off, we'll see it. So try to pay attention to that. And even in future productions of martial arts movies, try to see you. What's going on with this other hand? Where is it going? Okay, now, have fun with this. I know it's just a concept, but go back and take a look and see what you do. I highly suggest taking out a video camera, your phone, a tablet, and filming yourself going through your routine or your sword spinning, and look for little details like this. That way you can make self-corrections and make yourself even better. All right, till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam, fist with a foe out.